how to create a star with no center. So you've got just the spokes coming out. Well, I'm just gonna remove that design now. What you can do, simply go over to the polygon tool. This may be in a different position, depending on your customization. You can customize your toolbar. So select the polygon tool there, shape, then go to set the fill to a color, whatever you want. And then just go along to this gear. There's a gear right in the center, just, just below the A there. Click there and you can see some options. Now, if you go for star ratio, if you say set 10%, so you can create a star that's like that. If you set it to 50, you can see it's star like that. So it's a more conventional star. And also you can set to 90. So you can create more sort of crinkled star look. But I'm going to go for more sharp star. So I'm just going to go down to set it at 5% or 10%. Hold down the shift and just drag out. And you've got your star design coming out from center. Now I'm using 60. Now I could have gone with 20. You can set the number. So if you want to say 20, you could use 20. And that you would create a star like that. I don't want that. I want a more intense star. So I've gone for 60. Now this isn't interactive. So you can't change it there, but you can change it here. So if you decide the polygon tool selected there, you can turn around and reduce it down later. And this is via the properties. So the key panels here, properties and layers. So, I, but I want it to be a bit higher than that. So I'm, I want it a really intense, so 80. So you can get a really powerful, dramatic design there. But you can also modify the other settings as well. And you can set the, there if you want it to be, 81% or 10% whatever, oh that's number of stars, wrong one. I want it 83, I want that one. Actually I'm not surprised that the way I've done it is slightly, I'll say, uh, that to be 10. Okay, so I've got that design there. What you can then do to get rid of the center, simply go to the ellipse tool. Now you can draw an ellipse, very simple, just like that. And then you would actually create a design obviously with a center, but it would be, got that central part would be removed instead of like that. What I want to do is a circle. So just drag and draw a circle with the ellipse tool. Now hold down the shift. Once you've started draw, once you've started, you like doing this, you can see it change like that. Hold down the shift now, and then it will become a circle. So you've got your design there. And what I want is I'm just going to go to the layers, both selected. So both of the layers are selected. Then what you can do, you can go to now, just go over to a layer and I can say combine shapes and I want to do subtract front shape. You can see it's misaligned. If you don't want that misalignment, what you can do, you can use these. With those two selected, go up to there and go to align and align again. So you can just see them perfectly aligned. So that's the horizontal and vertical centers aligned. Now with both those selected, what you can then do, you can go to a layer menu. Combine shapes, and the key thing is subtract front shape. Subtract front shape, so that's removed there. Now you'll see what you get is a slightly, okay, hold down the shift if you want to resize it, you can see the design there. You've got this weird sort of, it still seems to be there. Well, you can remove it, completely remove it. Simply just go up here to the direct selection tool. With direct selection tool, with those all selected and this layer selected here, that's the key thing. What you can then do is you can see you've got an option up here to merge shape components. Now, if you haven't got that selected, use direct selection, you'll notice it doesn't work. So you need to go over here and select here, and then direct selection, select all of the points, and then that makes certain that everything's selected, and then go to merge shape component. And it will come up with a panel there. Or of course, if you've set don't show again, it probably will never appear. I never set those. So I just click, click yes. And then you've got your design. Now, of course, it's a regular shape now. So you can't modify it. You can't turn around and say, I want 60 points now. The only way you could do that, of course, is to change it would be to remove. And you can simply go and select there. And you can maybe go and select that point And that point, say, and delete them so you can any of them just so just delete that one and you can see if you want to do that i don't want to do that so i'm just going to bring that back 
So you've got your design there. And if you want it as a custom shape, then go to Edit and Define Custom Shape. And you can see Custom Shape is then defined. Now I can remove it. So I've got my custom shape, so I'm going to the custom shape tool, which is generally always below there, but you, again, depending on your toolbar, you maybe reposition it, and then what you can do, you can apply it. Now, of course, I've got to go up here and select the custom shape. There it is. So you've got it stored away there, and you can apply it multiple times. Very quick and easy like that to fill design with your sort of star designs there. So you can create some very interesting designs very quickly just using that approach. Now what you can do, I'm just going to go back, remove all those, and just go through another one just very quickly. Polygon tool, and with that polygon tool, you can obviously, I've got there 20 points, and I'm using shape still, I'm still using shape, I'm still using fill, but you don't have to. You could use maybe red, maybe have a, there you could set a, maybe not that much, say seven for the stroke. So now what I can do, I can go to the gear, or I can go to properties here. You'll see that because I haven't created it yet, there's no start, so you have you can only do it when you've created it. Only works on something that exists for the property of that item. So got 20 there, and you can just create something very quickly. It doesn't have to be right because now, of course, you can change it here at a later point. So you can just move there. And you think, well, I don't want that. I don't want that type of star. What I want is now I'm just gonna just go down here. I can just increase that so I can get more sort of physicality to those spokes there. So I've got that design there. And also I can modify a number of points. I might maybe go for 34. So I've got 34. It's quite intense, but the, the stroke, the spokes are a bit thicker. And of course I've got a field and all that sort of stuff. Well, I'm going to add a star again, the circle or ellipse. But this time instead of, like say, the circle, I'm going to create that sort of shape. So you can create that sort of design. You don't have to have it uniform. So you've got that. And again, what you can do, go to layers, make sure both are selected. And again, if you, you don't have to align them, you could have it exactly like this design if you want. But you can align, obviously. So that's aligned. Then you can go to layer. And again, down to combine shapes, subtract front shape. And you've got this design now. And again, direct section tool. Now that layer selected, you've got option over here to merge shape. And you'll notice it says subtract front shape. So that's the key thing, because of course that's what it's doing. Merge shape components. And again, yes. And you've got your star design there with the spokes. So you've got a fairly dramatic design there. And again, you can do exactly the same as before. So I can just resize that. And then I'd like to select it all, all the points. So everything selected, that whole design, and you go to edit and define the custom shape, and you can see custom shape there. Click OK. Now, of course, back, custom shape tool, and I'm just going to select the shape, and there's the shape there. And you can see, you can apply it, and of course it's still got those settings for the red and black. And you can fill your screen with that design. Now you can, of course, also just create a very basic design with these spokes, just yourself, if you're reasonable. What I think if you want to do that is probably the best way is to bring up the grid, because you can then see things. So you can say view, and you've got option here for show grid. So show a grid, you can, you've got a grid there. Of course, you can modify the grid and go to preferences. So preferences and grid. Obviously, I've got a fairly limited grid there, but I can say, there's my grid option, 100, say 100. Just makes it easy to use a grid. Then I can use good old, some other tools. So I'm just gonna go, could use a curved tool, or I could use the pen tool. Pen tool's probably gonna be better if you want sharp lines. So let's go for the pen tool. And then what you can do, of course you can just, obviously you can decide where your center's gonna be. I'm gonna sort of go approximately there. So I want my star coming out, and this could be a far more irregular star design, but it's similar sort of spokes. And you can quickly create your own star design, just simply by, it doesn't have to be uniform, so you can just go, and I'm going around that sort of centre there. Just decide where the centre is, and you can just, but always go to that endpoint. so just click, and you'll notice it becomes a little sort of, a dot appears there. And so click there, Click there, 
and then go back to the, that point and then to the finish point click there and you can see it's then a complete closed shape and again go to that point and you can see i just quickly go around i'm just going to do it very very quickly and you can create even more irregular shapes you don't have to have a maybe create a spoke shape that's got a little bit of a slight variation star doesn't have to be totally uniform even maybe slant it or something or maybe have it slightly out from the center maybe sort of have a multiple like that and then maybe go up here just out there making more a diamond shape coming out from that center point so you can see you can create all kinds of stars and of course you can do exactly the same thing as before go to the here select all of the shapes so they're all selected and then select them all all the points hopefully they're all selected then what you can do edit and define custom shape and you can save that design as a new custom shape so that's a quick run through of how to create stars without a center i'm not certain what the, if there's a name for starburst whatever i'm not certain that's what i've always sort of thought from starburst design but there's probably some special name that you give stars without that central part well hope you found this tutorial of interest please subscribe to the graphic extra channel always adding new tutorials about photoshop illustrator critter finity photo finity publisher finity designer and many many others also please put some comments if you've got other ways obviously of creating stars you think that maybe are much quicker easier than that with that central bit missing please let me know also obviously things i've done right done wrong always great to add some have some comments also a dislike or like thank you much